Researchers with big brains have declared that HTTPS is broken, smashed, killed, finished, ended, annihilated, thrashed, crushed, conquered, beaten, wrecked, decimated. And this time, it's for real. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Researchers are forever declaring stuff to be broken. This isn't the first time that HTTPS, SSL, TLS has been declared as a bit wonky. But then again, researchers have been telling us for years that chip and pin are useless. But this attack on HTTPS is known as the Alfordan, Bernstein, Patterson, Hertring, Schult attack, which is just the author's names in alphabetical order. How original. The attack works because of the RC4 algorithm and it has some weaknesses in it and when it's used it can be broken due to reasons. The question is how worried should we become when a researcher discloses such a vulnerability. If we listen to researchers every time they said something was broken, we'd probably still be living in caves wearing grass skirts. On the other hand, if we didn't listen to researchers, we'd have horribly insecure systems the world over. What it boils down to is attackers also operate a business. They too are looking to maximize their return on investment. Why would they spend time and effort on a theoretical vulnerability when they could get access to the same amount of information or money through simpler methods, which is why chip and pin, despite being theoretically broken, is still issued by all major UK banks. Why people still smoke, why people still speed, and why people won't really pay much attention to whether or not HTTPS is broken or not. At the end of the day, it comes down to good risk decision making, both in terms of the attackers and on side of the defenders. After all, why use a cannon to go mosquito hunting? Stay secure, my friends. <laughs> Thank you.